I think the title of this video is gonna be this changes everything because uh, that's actually the case now let me explain so on my other YouTube channel I've posted this video AI creates a game in Python in 140 lines of code so uh, I've actually posted the code and the video is here so on the polymath YouTube channel or you can simply just uh, uh, do a search on YouTube for AI creates game in Python in 140 lines of code now this this is mind-boggling and I'm serious I'm really serious about this this is actually what um, open AI's is machine learning natural language processing transformer model GPT-3 is capable of so uh, Codex Codex OpenAI you might want to look into it you might want to read what OpenAI Codex is and in this video I actually want to do a showcase on what it's capable of when it comes to cybersecurity. I'm only gonna show a very, very inoffensive way of using it. So we are here in the playground, and I actually took the time to to kind of try and actually do or sh uh, try and actually do what I'm actually going to demonstrate in this video now hear me up so codex is actually a fine-tuned version of um, GPT-3 in my understanding and it's been trained you can read the paper which is here so we introduce codex a GPT language model fine-tuned so is GPT-3 fine-tuned on publicly available code from GitHub um, and its most capabilities is when it comes to Python so a distinct production version of Codex powers GitHub Copilot so if some of you know about GitHub Copilot uh, that's actually a version of uh, Codex so this actually in simple language for some of you who are only into cybersecurity just of recent and don't know much about uh, natural language processing, machine learning, transformers and all that jazz. Uh, Codex, Codex is actually an AI that can write code and also assist with debugging, explain code and much more. And it knows the most that it knows is Python. But in this video I want to showcase its capabilities when it comes to Bash. Now, as I've said here, make a bash script that takes input a text file. Each line of the text is an IP. Ping each line and display the results in a new file. So, that's the only thing that I said. That's the only thing that I posted. This, this was my input. And then I clicked submit. And this is what it came up with. Now, I didn't actually know whether or not this code works. So I have actually uh, saved this in here. I've actually saved the code as you can see in here. So this, uh, it actually starts with, um, with a comment. This script takes a file as an argument and pings each IP and displays the result. Now, it also gives us comment for everything that it does here. Check to see if a file was given as an argument. If there is no argument, so if the length of the... If the length... I cannot read bash as well as I can Python. So if this, which actually says if the length uh, is zero, sort of like that, please specify a file as an argument and then it exits this... Uh, this if statement now loop so if this check passes and we have a file as an argument loop through the IPs in the file so do understand that this was written by an AI language model while well, read IP do ping if then echo IP is up else echo IP is down finish and then I don't think uh, 
display the results in a new file I should have said save the results in a new file but anyways in any case let's actually look at this so I took the liberty and also created an ips.txt file with these IPs 192.168 some of them are up and some of them are down now if I run this so ip.sh so ip.sh for the let's actually run it with no argument please specify file as an argument now let's specify the file uh, as the argument we have 1.1 1.2 1.3 so this is my network let me actually see with ping here in windows 192.168.11 we got a reply so this is up 1 2 this is also up 1 3 this is also up 1 100 we got no reply request time out so this is down let's do 110 so this should also be down and then 18 that's also down so I don't have anything to say I seriously do not have anything to say just that I've actually said I want a bash script that takes input a text file each line of the text is an IP ping each line and display the results in a file let's actually delete this try it again so ping each line and save the results in a file now uh, with my little experience with codecs here I've encountered situations when it doesn't uh, give you a hundred percent working solution so you might be debugging a little bit but out of let's say five or six attempts at least two uh, in my experience have been successful so let's do submit so this is it this is freaking it I mean this is 12 lines of code let's copy this control C go back here let's nano IP new dot sh control V control O save control so let's actually look for IP in cat ip.txt so in this case it actually specifies that the file should be ip.txt interesting and then it pings so if the IP is reachable it's actually putting it into ping.txt if it's unreachable it also puts it into ping.txt now control o control x chmod plus x ip new dot sh now let's let's try and run this without an argument cat ip.txt no such file or directory so in this case it actually expects an ip.txt file now let's ls now let's move ips.txt into ip.txt get ip.txt we have our ip.txt file and now let's clear this let's run ip new.sh with ip.txt and it's probably running let's see so bash we have a ping.txt and as you can see this actually finished 
Now remember, 192, 1.1, 1.2, and 1.3 were up, while 1100, 110, and 18 were down. So 123 equals equals up, 110 and 8 equals equals down. Let's see what we got here. Cat bank.txt. What do you freaking know? Okay, so I don't think that there's anything else to say. I'm just gonna end this video.